Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for April 8th. April 8th is the 98th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 99th in leap years, with 267 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is diaspora. Diaspora is a noun that means the dispersion or spread of any people from their original homeland, a scattered population whose origin lies in a separate geographic locale, and is typically used in reference of the dispersion of Jewish people located outside of Israel. But as you can see, the word diaspora can apply to any people who have been spread or dispersed from their homeland, the Irish diaspora, the African diaspora, and so on. The word diaspora comes to us from Greek words that mean to scatter across. First known use of the word diaspora is in 1594, diaspora. By the way, we've mentioned diaspora before, and I'll leave some links in the description to some of those that I can remember. <laughs> Today's word diaspora was suggested by YouTube viewer at Lynn Creamer. Thanks, Lynn. And if you have a word you'd like us to explore in this Word of the Day segment, drop it in the comments. We'll take a look at it. And with that, the statue known as Venus de Milo was discovered on the Aegean island of Milos on April 8, 1820. Also known as the Aphrodite of Milos, this is an ancient Greek statue carved from marble sometime during the Hellenistic period. It's impossible to nail down a more exact date of her creation, but the Hellenistic period is generally considered to be from about 323 B.C., to about 30 BC. It was this time that the Roman Empire had conquered the Greeks and come into prominence. There are certainly some other remarkable works of art from the Hellenistic period, but today's star is the Venus de Milo, discovered on April 8, 1820. This is the birthday of Belgian singer, songwriter, composer, and actor Jacques Brel. His name has come up a few times as we talked about other singers and songwriters, so I thought his birthday would be a good time to learn a little bit more about him. Born April 8, 1929 in Brussels, Belgium, his career spans from 1953 until his death in 1978. He made 16 studio albums, 8 live albums, several compilations, a soundtrack album, and many singles. The work of David Bowie and Rod McEwen and many, many others was influenced by Jacques Brel, and many of his songs have been performed by such luminaries as Ray Charles, Judy Collins, John Denver, the Kingston Trio, Shirley Bassey, Frank Sinatra, and Andy Williams, and many more besides. He participated in a music competition in 1954 and didn't personally do that well, but French star Juliette Greco asked to sing one of his songs and recorded it later that year. He caught the attention of an impresario who got Jacques lined up for a series of international tours. After just a few years, he wished to step back from concert tours and began taking acting jobs. He acted in several movies, wrote, directed, had some TV parts, composed a decent number of soundtracks, this award-winning artist has also been honored in popular culture with places, streets, and buildings named after him, statues made of him, and an astonishing number of cover versions of his songs made by an equally astonishing number of artists. In the early 1970s, he realized he was ill, prepared his will, and set about to travel the world as he wished. Jacques Brel passed in 1978 at the age of 49. Now, I've talked about other events in the past, and I'll leave a link to one of those episodes in the description of this video in case you'd like to check that out. Today's song is La Chanson de Visement, A Song for Old Lovers, by Jacques Brel. The link I have for you is of him singing it in French, but in the description of that video are the lyrics in French followed by a translation in English. I'd say La Chanson de Visement a song for old lovers, pretty well describes how that a couple that stays together comes to know, accept, and more fully appreciate each other as they weather the trials of time. From being impetuous young people whose furniture doesn't match to a time where she cries a little less early, he goes off the deep end a little later, 
and they're more open with things that they used to hold as mysteries. La Chanson de Vieux Amant, a song for old lovers, by Jacques Brel was included on his 10th studio album, Jacques Brel 67, released in 1967. La Chanson de Vieux Amant, a song for old lovers, by Jacques Brel. Link in the description. <laughs> All righty. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page. It's called No Really. <laughs> You can also find me on Rumble, a bit shoot, and Odyssey. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. And this is the birthday. I didn't get that. Could you try again? I wasn't talking to you. And from the Life is What Happens When You Make Other Plans department. <laughs> oh, where's your microphone? Oh, get your microphone. <laughs> what is it with you and this microphone? Okay, here we go. Maybe we could get a little camera back up there again. Right there. Little bitty tiny camera. Make it small. Right there. <laughs> You're here with me live this morning as I stumble through. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. My my apologies here. I thought I had it all ready to go, and I just didn't. I guess so. I thought I was ready to go, and my apologies for the for the hiccups and the baubles. <laughs> See, that's all stuff that gets edited out in the edited versions. <laughs> well, I have a lot to edit today. Cacophony is a sound. <laughs> Cacophony is a noun that you got to read it the right way. Don't alienate people who can be helpful to you. Flinging happiness all over the place. All right. Back to work. I think we got it this time. <laughs> <laughs>